In this video, I will show you how to import 2D sequence into Unity to use it with particle systems. Here is the result which we are going to achieve by the end of this video. For this, we will need Adobe Animate in our case and Texture Packer. Pre-version should be enough. At first, we need to make sure our 2D effects is separated from everything else like backgrounds and all the stuff. Before continuing with this step, make sure to press Ctrl Shift F12 and you will see this window. Just press PNG setup and there in the color parameters, make sure to click 24 bits with alpha channel. And don't forget to press Ctrl J and make sure you have square resolution here. Doesn't actually matter, the more resolution we will have, the more quality it will have as well, obviously. Alright, this should be good. After this, just press File, Export, Export Video, and export it to desired folder with the name you wish. Click Export. After this, just open Texture Packer, Click use free version if you don't have paid. And then just drag and drop every PNG you've got into this place. Sometimes it won't fit right in this square to create our sprite sheet. If it happens, you just have to play around with those parameters until you will have your sequence fully placed in your sprite sheet. After this, just press Publish Sprite Sheet and just make new folder and save your Sprite Sheet. For the next steps, we will only need Unity. Create new material. And for my case, I'm going to use Mobile Particles and Alpha Blended or Additive. For our case, we are going to use Alpha Blended. Here we are going to click on our freshly created material, go over there and click select. There we are going to type our fresh created sprite sheet and just click on it. Close this. All we have to do next is just press right click on the empty space here, press effects and press particle system. You will see these spheres. We are going to see the right tab over there and scroll it down to render. Just drag and drop your material here or you can press this little button and search it. Just double click it here and you will see this kind of animation here. Next, make sure to check this box under texture sheet animation. Go to this and you have now to take a look on how many rows you have there. In our case, we have four on X and four on Y. Remember this and go back to texture animation and just put it here. Now we need to disable speed over there. Start speed. Press zero. Set up your emission, in our case we will use just one. Disable shape, we will not need it for now. To make it faster, simply reduce its start lifetime. You can also increase this in size as much as you desire. It won't go past some quantity of start size, because there is a limitation in renderer max particle size is 0 0.5 just put increased number and you will be able to bypass this limit after this feel free to make some experiments with timings with spawn rates with shape there is a lot of settings to use and also you can play around with start rotation so now it is zero. Let's turn off this for this time. You can create uh, randomization on it by pressing, pressing arrow. 
on the drop down menu select random between two constants and put it from zero to this so if you want this animation to be spawned randomized from the center not randomly around at the corners you will have to render your animation with a bit adjusted position let me show you you will have to render this like this the start point of our animation is going to be here instead of here and you will be able to make a nice rotation randomize it thanks for watching excuse me for my english and for the quality of this video i also have my r station where i post my recent works and my portfolio and i have my instagram where i also post my fresh works subscribe if you're interested and sometimes i'm doing live streams on my twitch channel thanks everyone good luck